and today in this video we are going to uh, be doing remote view configuration yes how you can use your mobile phone to be able to uh, assess the camera to view the camera anywhere that you are even where you are far away from the system you can be able to use your mobile phone to view the system so this is what we'll be doing today so watch this video and see how easy it is to connect this kind of uh, system doing configuration and how to link it uh the other system to the internet access so that you can be able to configure it with our phone and be able to have access to it through our mobile device so come along with me watch this video even as we learn how to connect the system welcome to this training once again my name is engineer Isaiah Moebo, the CEO of Moza Global Design Services so here is how to do the remote view configuration first of all if you are using iPhone you go to App Store if you are using Android phone, you go to Play Store to download the app. And this is a Heat Vision DVRO system. You can see it on the written of the carton. And this is the DVRO functional Heat Vision system. And now I'm going to go to Play Store. Then I have to install Heat Connect app. Right? You can see the name on the screen Heat Connect. That's the name of the app we'll be using to configure the system. So right now, this is my phone. Right? So I will have to go to what? Play Store. This is my Play Store. And this is Ink Connect app. So what you have to do is to click on install. If it's, it's if it's have installed your phone before, they will show you open. But since it has not been installed, you click on install. Then the app will start installing. So the app has been installed. Now we click on. You can see the app. You can see Ink Vision. You can see it very well, right? Ink Vision. So it has been installed. Then we click on open on our phone. So we can see the app now, it has opened. Then the next thing you will do, you will swipe it over and click on what? You click on start now. And you click on start now, you will see the two things are there, disagree and agree, but you have to click on agree to continue. Then you have to choose, select your country region or select your region, you click on Nigeria, right? Then you click on Nigeria, you click on OK. So the next thing is you click just allow it. Then we are going to do what? To register. You can log in. If you have already connected the app before, register on this app before, you log in with your details. But if you have not done so, you have to register. You will click on this button. Then they are not telling us either we'll log in. Or we register. Either we log in or we register or forget password. But we we'll click on what? We we'll click on register. When you click on register, you click on uh, agree. Then you check it, click it good. Then you will put your email. Please remember the email you use should be active. We've, you fix your email, you put your email and you put your password. This the details they will show you. You put your email and you put your password, right? Okay, so now I'm going to put our email, our password, and uh, you'll see how uh, it works. So now we are done putting our email and password. We now click on get security code. Get security code. So we wait for them to send us a security code. So now we put this uh, capture code we are seeing here, right? You can see it, right? H3D, then Y. Then we we'll start with capital letter H. Capital letter H, then three, then we put in D, then we put in what? Y. We now click on OK. So a security code that will be sent to our email to, regi to, to, to register this process. We now check on our email and we we'll get the security code. Here's our email, and here we can get the code from here. Our code is this so we put in the code and we do what click on finish now the system is auto logging us in they are telling us to set our fingerprint it's optional you can decide to set it or leave it but if you want to turn it on you click on settings then uh you turn it on you can see the fingerprint you turn it on click on it and you you put your fingerprint and it turned on it has on for us already so we'll come back then the next thing I'm going to talk about now is add device. How we can now connect this camera system we are seeing here 
then it will not be showing on our mobile phone, right? Okay, but before we continue with this app, we have to uh, connect the DVR to our wall, to our router. Here is a cable to connect these two uh, devices together, right? This is a CASIS network cable. So you will watch me how I'm going to connect it. I'm here to slot it in. On our router here, we have two inputs, right? We have uh, we have LAN, which is local area network, and we have telephone. But what concerns us is our LAN, which is local area network. You will hear a clip of sound. Then you come back to the back of the DVRO, and you come back to the back of the DVRO, and you can see we are uh, facing this cable. You hear a sound. Tell you that it's disconnected. Now, the first thing to do, which is the next thing to do, is we have to come to our system here. Then what we do is that you will right click, then you click on menu, then you will click on what? When you come here, you click on menu, all these icons, all these uh, options we show, then you click on configuration. When you click on configuration, we are configuring network now. You click on configuration, you will now come to what? Network. You will see live view, user, network, camera, event, and record. But what concerns us in network, we click on what? Network. And you will see other information that comes up. You will see platform access, email, camera, event, and record. What concerns us, we click on platform access. And you can see our camera is already online. Right? So our camera is online. So I want to uh, show you in case if your own is not connecting online. Maybe it has a new DVR. See what we do. Right? So you will come back, you come back to general, then you come to change this NIC type. This is where the issues might come from. Then you click on it, then you change it to this, uh, the first option, which is this. Then you click on come down and click on what? Apply. Then we click on apply, then you go back to platform access. If it doesn't come on, go back to what? General again. If it doesn't come on, go back to general again. Come here. I choose the second option T. You choose the last option. Make sure always click on apply before you go to platform access to check if the camera is online, right? So after doing that, the next thing is we have to bring in our phone. Remember, this is a hit connect app, right? So we have to click on add device. Then they actually on scan QR code, add device manually of online device. Now we are going to scan QR code. Then. Allow the mobile client to access the camera for scanning QR code. Allow, right? We have to use, make our phone to allow it and be able to scan. So here we are scanning. So it has scanned. So these are phone and it has scanned and it has detected the system. So we now click on we click on next. We click on next. So our camera now has come to this uh, phone, which is my mobile device. We click on what? Next point to do, the next thing is to click on finish, right? So again, you can skip or at your own time, you can just play around this, but you click on skip, then we now see our camera here, right? Then ask me later. Then what Cortana is seeing our camera, right? So these are camera, these are four channel. Remember this DVR is what? A four channel DVR. So this, the same thing that you are seeing here, the same thing that you are seeing here, these are four camera on the screen, right? So if I want to see the camera, wherever I am, I have to click on it, and the camera, this is the camera, right? It's showing us what, uh, this is live view, this is the camera. Then if I want to view the second camera, I have to just come and click on it, it's showing me live. This is the camera, you can see how it is. I want to expand it with uh, my phone and let it look at as if this is the camera there. Hope we are seeing it very clear. So this is how to go about it. If you want to speak, you can tap on the mic, mic to speak. But after doing this, we have what? A camera here. Then let me uh, go to how you can share to. Maybe you install the system maybe in uh, a place like Court, and the owner of this system, the owner of the business of the house, or the environment, or the property is in Abuja or Lagos or even in America. You can actually you can equally share. 
You can equally share to them, right? You can equally share to them, and also they can even see the camera even without your notice because they have access to the camera. Then we will now go to what because you will share, you will go to configuration, you go to network, platform access, and allow this interface to come up. Okay, so now let me show you how to connect it or share these devices to another person, maybe the user of the system. So this is how to share it from one phone, from one mobile phone or smartphone to another phone. Click on this plus icon, click on this plus icon, then you will see other things are written here, but you click on uh, share device, right? Then you click on share device again. You see, share with user, share with service provider, but you click on share with user. Now, at the top you will see email address, right? Slash phone number. Let's use, you can use email address, you can use phone number, depending on what the person used to register on the app. But now let's use uh, email address. So this email address I want to use. I will now click on what? Add recipient. I will click on this. I have to click on it. When I click on it, then, are you seeing me? See what is showing me? Maybe remark. You can do maybe, uh, you can either be from your words, from maybe from your engineer, or maybe from, from engineer Isaiah, right? I see you need. Uh, so you now click on this icon up here. Click on it. I see you need. Then, So this is where it will take you once you click on that uh, storage icon, it will take you to this place by adding user. So you can see the remark I added was a genealogy. So it's already been uh, added as history recipient. I will click on it, then I will click on next. I will see it. Uh, then I will see select it. This is what they will send to the other phone. I'll click on it again. I'll click on send. Set permission. These are what you will set as your permission. If you allow the phone camera to show on this, the other device or the other phone, you check everything out and the information. Right? You click on OK. Loading. Then everything has appeared. Right? Then you click on share. All right. So this is the phone I shared from. Right, so I share to this phone, I share to this second phone. You can see it here, and right here, you see it here. You can see the right, uh, you can see you have one new sharing, you have one new sharing, it's on the top of the screen. Then I will have to go and click on it. Once I click on it, then they will say either reject or accept. They're asking me if. I will reject or accept. I will see it. Either reject or accept. So I will click on accept. Once I click on accept, then the camera will come up. It's going to be network. Then you refresh it again. You can go back. It's going to be then this is the camera. Right? So this is our camera. Remember, the same camera here. The same camera and this other phone have changed to this device, but something again as I hold the camera from not showing. Now you see the camera, they are blank or they are blunt, they are not showing. So you click on one of them, right? Then you see the camera is not still showing or coming up. There is a password that you need to input. Then you click on it. You click on the then they will ask you enter video and picture encryption code. So, what is that encryption code? Encryption code in that system is this code. Remember, you remember how we got it, right? So in this code, the encryption code, then you click on it. You, you see, they, they close it. You click on it to open it. It has opened, right? So we are now going to type in this code into this phone. So let's go and type the code now. We have a capital letter B, M, 
this code is what we are going to uh, put on this place for us to see the camera because it is encrypted right it's encrypted so we need a code coming from this place remember i got here they love this place was closed this particular place is what i'm talking about this code so let's go right i have capital letter b then another capital letter m then what again do I, have? I have capital letter v q capital letter v capital letter q then i have capital letter i have small letter z and capital letter h so this is the code i've been put this code on this my second phone i will click on confirm you can see now the minute i click on confirm the camera starts showing again on this phone so if we go back right i want to increase it i can zoom it and this is the camera then i can go back if i want to see the four camera then i have to see the four camera so this is the four camera only that one encryption code i made all the whole camera console so even if the, my channel is eight channel six channel or two channel system once i put the encryption code on this my second phone i can now start seeing all the camera at the same time depending on the camera i want to see per time I can touch the camera and it will come out on its own. It will not be one view on the phone. So this how to share it to another user. So we have successfully connect our our system, our camera from one camera to another camera. So this is how you can practically share your device. Maybe you store the system uh, in one location, the client is another location, the owner of the system, you can share to them. So they have to register, they have downloaded, register it and send it to them. They will receive it inside the app I send them the encryption code, which is this code, and they, once they fix it or they put it the encryption code inside the app through the camera, then they cannot start seeing their property and their business place or wherever they have placed the camera anyway. So this is how to do your remote mobile view, and this is how to configure it, this is how to set it up. So uh do well to reach out to me if you encounter any issues. And thank you for watching this video to this extent. And I believe you have gotten solutions. To your problems and answers to uh, everything you might need about remote view configuration and uh, installation and setting up. So thank you very much once again. My name is Eugenia Isaiah. Do well to subscribe to this channel or do well to follow us. Make sure you comment and also share this video to somebody that might be having this issue or a co uh, engineer or electrician or technician like you that might need this kind of video to solve their problem in CCTV camera system. And thank you for watching this video. You can do well to contact me if you need further trainees on either CCV camera installation, solar uh, power installation, or even electrical wiring. In any of the skills that you want to learn, contact me, and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in this field and in this industry. So my number is on the screen. Do well to reach out to me. Either call me or send me a message on WhatsApp, and I will do reply back, and uh, we we'll work together. Okay, so if you also have a contract you want us to handle, or installations you want us to handle for you, or you want us to... Uh, to join hands to work together or to partnership we are opened and we work together distance is not a barrier we travel to any locations as far uh we have uh things sorted out and we discuss about it and everything is arranged we travel to any location to deliver contracts and jobs and even any trainings or any other thing that you want regarding this feed of our trainings and services so our number is on the screen do have to reach out to us and uh i hope to hear from you soon all right god bless you Thank you.